Microsoft Publisher 2010, Adding Text Boxes. Unlike Microsoft Word, where you start typing where your cursor is blinking, in Microsoft Publisher, you must add a text box before you type in your text. You can add a text box on a page and just start typing, or you can copy and paste text from another location, or you can insert an entire file into a text box. In this video, we'll do all three. So let's get started. The first way we'll talk about adding text to a page in Publisher is to add a text box and to start typing. You can add a text box from your Home tab, and in your Objects group, you would click on Draw Text Box. And then you would go and holding down your left mouse button, drag to create your text box. When you're in the whole page zoom, it's very hard to see what you're typing. So you might also want to increase the zoom. And then you would just start typing. The text will wrap within the text box and you can apply formatting as well. Now let's say you have some text in a Word document and rather than typing from scratch, you'd prefer to copy and paste. So I'm going to get rid of the text I just typed in, and I'm going to keep my text box here, and then go into Word and copy some text from a Word document. I've got a Word document open, so I'm clicking on it. You can see I'm in Word in the title bar, and I'm just going to select some of this data. And I'll do a copy. And then I'm going to go back into my publisher file. And with my cursor in the text box, I can right click and I can just paste. And as you can see, the text from Word that I copied is now in the text box in publisher. I do have some paste options. So I can click on my paste options button. And the way I pasted the text was with a regular paste. But I could also keep the source formatting if I wanted to. And I'll have the formatting from Word. I can also just match the destination, which is the same as a regular paste in this case. And I can keep text only. So if I just wanted to do my own formatting here in Publisher, I could do that. So I'm going to go back to a regular paste. And now I'll be able to change this any way I like. What if I'd like to insert an entire file, whether that be from Word or a text file? So I'm going to create a new page in my publication, and I'll do that by right-clicking over on page one. I'm going to insert a page after the current page, and it will be a blank page. And in here, I would create a text box. And I would create the text box about as large as I think I may need. You can always enlarge the text box, or you can shrink the text box when you're done. Once you've got the text box, now you can go and insert the file. So I'm going to go up to the Insert tab. And in the text group, I'll see Insert File. And I would go and find the file. And in my case, it's a Word document. And when I find the file and double click on it, it will bring that entire file here into my publisher file. Again, I could go and change the formatting. I can size the text box. I can see I don't need quite as large of a text box as I have. And I can change any of the text in the text box as well. Those are ways to create a text box and insert text in Publisher 2010.